Hi guys, happy Monday. I just got home from the gym. I'm so excited to be back at the early morning workouts at 6.22. My camera is gonna die, so I'm gonna charge it, get in the shower, and show you guys what I'm packing up for day one of my February Whole30. The first round was amazing, second round I failed, so I cannot wait for round three. I'm gonna kill it. All right, here's what I'm bringing for work. I'm bringing a zucchini so I can make some zucchini with my breakfast, which is the egg bake and leftover potatoes from last night. Not sure of the points yet, but I'll let you know when I'm eating them. I have some sweet potatoes here that I'm gonna cook up with Brussels sprouts and this sausage for lunch, an avocado, an apple for a snack, and the nut pods hazelnut to bring to work for my coffee. Hello everyone. So I have got breakfast started here. I've got two ounces of potatoes for two points, I believe it was. Yes, no, two ounces were one point. Okay, great. So I'm gonna count it as two because of the olive oil. I just guessed that there's two teaspoons of olive oil between everything, so that's three points. And um, my nut pods was one point. So I'm gonna get these in the pan with my zucchini because that's how I like to warm it up. So we're getting this warmed up. And then I'm gonna get this on a plate to warm up in the microwave. It looks delicious. I cannot wait to eat it. Let's see, ooh, there we go. Mm, even cold. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave. I am prepping um, a slow cooker meal for here at work, which I wish it was Whole30 approved, but it's not, because it asks for a um, gluten-free flour, but we don't have that here. So I assume I'll just do it with regular. Let's do 45 seconds. Okay. And I'm still drinking my coffee. And warming this up. I'll show you guys everything when it's all done. Alrighty, as you can see, oh my gosh, this breakfast just looks delicious. I added one point worth of avocado. All right, so the egg is one point, this is one point, this is one point, and the mixture of the potatoes and some avocado, avocado, olive oil, I counted as three points, just because I'm not sure of the oil content. So I'm counting breakfast as six points, and I can't wait to eat, guys. I'm so hungry because I had my workout and I'm not sure how to do like the whole, like I know with the whole 30, you're supposed to have a post and pre-workout meal, but because I'm doing it so early, I think that's, I just don't know how to do it. And so I just wait for breakfast. So coffee, breakfast, delicious. So update on the beef, sweet potato beef stew that I'm making here. I did, I, man, I remembered that I had almond flour here. So I am making it Whole30 approved just in case like I need to eat it. It smells so good, just like searing the beef in the almond flour. Um, I will leave the recipe linked down below because I think this is gonna be really, really good. Hey guys, it is 12.12. 12. I'm not really hungry for lunch yet because around 11, not really 11, I think 10, 10.45, we could say 11. I had um, a banana and almond butter with a cup of coffee. So that was four points. I will be over my points today because my dinner, guys, I cannot wait for dinner. So I'm making burgers like wrapped in lettuce with tomato and avocado. Um, and I'm gonna make Just Jesse B's potato wedges. I just didn't want the camera to fall. I should have it on the stand. Um, I found a like spicy Asian zoodle recipe, which is high in points. So like this is where like I'm at like I was supposed to turn to get to Target. Darn it! Oh, I need to put my GPS on now. Um, what was I saying? This is where like I'm at like crossroads between Weight Watchers and the Whole 30 because I do love the not tracking life of the Whole 30, but I feel like Weight Watchers just keeps me accountable as far as like how much I'm eating. So because the side of the zoodles, I think it comes out to be like five points of serving, was so high, I took off a few other things like for my lunch per se. Um, so we'll see, the point of the whole, the whole 30, you're supposed to eat three meals and it's supposed to keep you full. You're not supposed to snack. I 
kind of, I always need like a little snack of some kind, just like one or two, nothing crazy. It's supposed to be like a mini meal if you need a snack, but whatever. Everybody's own, your whole 30 is your whole 30. I feel like as long as you're eating compliant and not going overboard, then it is what it is. Um, so we'll see how this goes as far as like tracking with Weight Watchers and the Whole30. I never promise to say using Weight Watchers forever because I do love the not tracking life, but I do love, I do love everything that Weight Watchers has changed about freestyle, encouraging you to eat other foods. While I think that eating, I, I don't agree with, I don't think fruit should be zero points. Just because fruit is a lot of carbs, it's a lot of calories. Like if you're just eating like one piece of fruit here and there, that's fine. But like, I don't think you should be eating boatloads of fruit to be honest with you. But that's just my opinion. Fruit is good for you, but I don't think you should be going overboard. So I think like some of the foods they've made zero points. I get why they did it, but it's like, I don't know. I still feel like I, I still feel like things should be points because they are calories. He put the camera on the stand because it kept falling and I have, I have a lot more thoughts. So, where was I? I do like that, I feel like, I understand where they're coming from why they made put food, certain foods zero because they are encouraging you to eat those, which is fabulous because I totally think that Weight Watchers glorifies, it did in the past glorified like processed food and I've never been one to eat a lot of processed food. Back in the day, I did eat like a few of the um, the smart ones, microwave meals, like in a pinch, but I'm just not one to go for processed food. Um, I try to eat as clean and as organically as I can, even before. That's why I think the Whole30 was a little, it was easy for me. It was just hard for me to get um, away from like Splenda, but now it's like I could, it's not even an issue. Totally get used to it. but. So with that said, I think I'll have, so my daily target, I, that might have been like a ramble jamble of nothing, so I'm really sorry if like, I'm really sorry if like my thoughts were just like nothing. Um, oh, my eyes like itching. I think I have like a hair stuck in there, but you can't like, when you have contacts in, you can't rub. Um, problem. Where was I going with all of this? I'm just, I don't know how, I don't know how, long I could do both together. It might work out just fine. I like, I, because this whole 30, I would like to lose some weight. My first whole 30, I was just doing it to reset my body because of the way I was feeling about my sugar dragon and the way I was feeling about, well, not the way I was feeling, the way I was having yeast infections. And side note, TMI for anybody who's not interested, but the second I start eating non-whole 30, my yeast infection comes right back. Like. I had one before the honeymoon because of the craziness of, well, no, no, I did not have one before the honeymoon. I, I got one right after the honeymoon because of all of the things I was eating in Mexico. And I think, I feel like I got one again in another one in like January, like after Christmas. So I think after Whole30, I will be switching to paleo because, um, I cannot, my body cannot handle sugar. I'm pretty sure it's sugar. It could also be carbohydrates. So I have been tested before for diabetes, nothing there, not even like pre-diabetic, nothing even close. So my triglycerides are fine, but um, it's something that I'm eating is creating myself to have these yeast infections. And if you're a girl, which I'm pretty sure like 99% of you are girls, um, you know, if you've had one in your life, you know how annoying and uncomfortable they are. So like any, I, I suffered for an entire year of having non-stop yeast infections. It was like, it was God awful. I was at like the doctor every other day and my insurance was like, to see a specialist was $75 a visit. So it was outrageous. Rant over before this turns into a 15 long minute video about why I have yeast infections and how to fix them. <laughs> if you want a video about that, let me know because I've tried everything. Anyway, I am on my way to Target. Long story short, seven minutes later, well, I had to cut out probably a little bit because I was putting my camera on the stand. I am on my way to Target to get, I want to see if they have the Whole30 Day by Day book because I heard it was amazing and maybe the slow cooker, fast and slow cookbook if they have it too. Just because, I mean, I do 
get a lot of my video, my ideas on Pinterest. So, but I'd like to see, maybe I'll just like browse the cookbook. So, we'll see. So I went into Target. They didn't have any of the day by day books, so it is what it is. I don't really think, because I've already done it, I don't really know if I need it, but they had the cookbook, but it was all like things that I've like, not all the things, but like most of the recipes, like I found a version of before online. So I didn't get that, but I did find a pair of shoes that were on clearance. I almost bought these shoes, I feel like, was it this weekend or last week? And they were $37.99 and they were on clearance for $18.98, I think. Yeah. And right now on Cartwheel, it's 20% off clearance. So I got these shoes for like $15. So I got, um, I also got this lighter because we're, our candle lighter ran out. So it's like I got this free because both things are $18. <laughs> it's the little things in life. I shouldn't be spending money, but whatever. <laughs> I'm so bad at being on budget. <laughs> How cute are these boots? And they're water resistant and they like have like a good grip on the bottom. I'm super excited. I feel like I haven't bought, I haven't bought like booties in like years, like new like winter. I buy shoes a lot in like the summer because um, flip flops are so cheap. Um, so I'm super excited that I found these for clearance. So there's that. I'm getting very hungry now. So we are gonna head back to the house. Get me some, oh, mother ever. I wanted to get a compliant hot sauce because at work all there is is sriracha. Mm, this is why I need to make a list. If I don't have a list, I forget everything. This was not on my list. The candle lighter was, I forgot to get it yesterday. <laughs> um, ah, the shoes are falling everywhere. <sighs> all right, I have to hide those from Rob. He'll be like, what are you doing spending money? So I will sneak those in the house when he's not around. <laughs> Does anybody else do that? Anyway, sorry, I was reading a text. To lunch, well, to home to have lunch. I feel like my tan is making me look nice and it's so nice like having, like starting the day showered. I never start the day showered unless I go to the gym. So, and it's also nice in the morning because in the mornings when I don't go to the gym, I'm like rushed because I lay in bed until like 6.45 and then I have to leave the house at 7.05. But like when I wake up at 4.50, I know it's quite early, I have time to drink my coffee, go to the gym and then take a shower and I could still like chill a little bit. So it's so much nicer. I love a quiet morning of having coffee, watching TV in bed. I mean, I don't have time to do that when I go to the gym, but I have like, it's a lot more relaxed. I hate the rushing. And I don't know why I do it to myself. Who knows? I've got my Brussels sprouts chopped up and I've added a little zucchini to this just to bulk it up a little bit more with some veggies. I have a half a teaspoon of olive oil and salt, pepper, garlic. So this will, this is obviously one point. And then I'm gonna add the, this, hold on. Sometimes I can't talk. Hold on, Meg, hold on, catching up on YouTube videos. Um, I'm gonna add one of these, the spicy jalapeno. These are actually three points each. And I'm gonna measure out, I think, two or three points worth of sweet potato and then one point worth of avocado. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty high because I'm not using any zero point foods besides the vegetables, but I can only eat so much chicken and 99% fat free ground turkey you know what I mean I'm having taco night tomorrow night so I'm gonna have a pretty light day tomorrow probably um so yeah I will show you guys everything when it's all done I like to cook these for a while because I like the Brussels sprouts to get nice and tender and then I'll add everything else I like to make big bowls of stuff if you guys haven't noticed here is my delicious lunch and my little ounce of avocado see I've I like that I'm counting the points for this because I used to just eat a whole half of an avocado with like each meal. And I don't really think that's necessary. But I've got my Brussels sprouts, the sausage, and the sweet potatoes. So I am going to eat this, finish this video, and then I've got like laundry and other things to do around the house. That lunch was so good. And there was so filling and so much. Highly recommend doing that. All you need is like a vegetable base, 
a potato of some kind and like some kind of meat. You can literally like make anything into a bowl like that. It's like my favorite thing. So here are the sweet potatoes, not sweet potatoes, the potatoes I'm turning into french fries, potato wedges. I'm using this um, baking mat so I don't have to use any oil and I just seasoned it with salt, pepper, garlic, and some paprika. I'm gonna put them in a 400 degree oven and get these started and then I will move on to my other things for dinner. Here are the burgers. I just did garlic, shallots, um, coconut aminos, salt, pepper, and garlic, and some paprika. And these are the zoodles. I will link the recipe down below. I was super excited for this, but it doesn't seem, it's not what I expected. The recipe is to leave it cold, but they also said you could warm it up. It's still good, but it's not, I don't think I'd make this again. And the, oop, it's foggy. The potato wedges. The potato wedges are cooking up nicely. Here is my delicious dinner. I will write in the points because I'm not sure of them off the top of my head. I haven't calculated it all yet. But the burger is on lettuce. There's hot sauce, avocado, tomato, some of those Asian noodles, and some potato wedges.